I'm joined here by Kitty Mervine, uh, well, skeptic extraordinaire, author of uh, Fairy Tales Fairly Told, and veteran attender of TAM. I have been to every TAM in, in the United States. Yes. So you didn't go to the Australia one, then? I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a bit of a hike. So you've been to every TAM. How long have you been involved in the skeptic movement? I have been probably for, uh, geez, it has to be at least 12 years now. So and how, about two years before TAM. And how did you first get interested in this? Um, actually, it's a very sad story. I had a friend who uh, went to see a psychic, and when she ran out of money, uh, the psychic uh, talked to her dead son. When she ran out of money and the psychic wouldn't um, let her talk to her dead son anymore, she committed suicide. And I was devastated, and I found the James Randi website, and I crawled out of my depression because I knew uh, that there were other people out there that were fighting this sort of really bad thing going on. So now you've been going to every single TAM. What do you like most about it? What keeps you coming back? I would say it's the sense of family, the sense that here's a place where I can open up my mouth and make a joke about astrology, and no one's going to look at me and say, you know, I'm an astrologer, or um, I... Uh, teach in a school in Vermont, and it's very wonderful parents, but they will often show up at the preschool with their child's astrological chart so that I will understand their child better. Uh, so you're here, and you can kind of relax and stretch yourself intellectually. I always learn so much here, and I go home really revitalized um, to continue my skeptic work. Now, speaking of your skeptic work, tell me a little bit about your book. How did that get started, and what's in there? This started, uh, last year I wrote my first skeptic book for preschoolers because I saw there was a real need. And I've often told skeptic stories to my own preschoolers, and I've had to make them up. There just aren't that many books geared towards ages 3 to 10. I printed up about 50 copies, sent them to uh, Camp Inquiry, and I got great, terrific feedback, and everyone was like, when's your next book coming out? Uh, so this is the next book, Fairy Tales Fairly Told. It's a take on your traditional fairy tale, except it's really for a skeptic or atheist parent for their child. Uh, for instance, there's a hero who's an atheist, and Rapunzel is a lesbian. Um, <laughs> once you get over those two things, the forward is by James Randi, who uh, personally approved many of these stories. And I'm just very proud of... Uh, uh, is, that, is that drawing on the cover supposed to be Randy? This is supposed to be Randy. Uh, one of my dear friends, Noah Whippy, who's a very young man, um, who is just an amateur artist, is a great skeptic friend, drew James Randy, who he's never met, as he's imagined him. And so this is a six-foot-tall James <laughs> Randy, or very, very short children. So that's the joke. And he's in full wizard garb, he's which is really nice. full wizard garb, and he's really there. And the illustrations, I think, alone make the book really exciting. And we're already starting on a book for next year, which is going to be for ages uh, 12 to, I'd say, 16. And you also mentioned to me at one point that the book, is, all the money that you make from the book is going to charity. <laughs> All the money goes to skeptic children's education. I don't make any money off of it. Uh, Noah doesn't make any money off of it. The initial printing is purely paid for by volunteers. And any skeptic children's book I write um, will be the same way. This is just my way of giving back to the skeptic community that's given so much to me and my own family. And where could somebody find this book if they wanted to get a copy? Uh, it will be on Amazon, on the JREF site soon. But right now, if you would like it, you can reach me at um, fairlytold at gmail.com, and I can make sure you get a copy. It's $10 and $3 for shipping. All right. Well, best of luck with the book, Kitty, and uh, have a great time with the rest of Tam. Great. Thank you so much.